What's up, y'all? This is Aunt Glizzy and it's Bob Sun TV. And today we got Sean Cotton from Say Cheese. He changed my life forever. Sorry for the static, y'all. Y'all know what I'm doing, but act like you don't. Long story short, I met, I met Sean a couple years ago from Say Cheese from an interview, but we, we built a relationship and we just started doing business together. Once we start doing business together, I realize how good of a person he is. Sean a good dude, y'all. He don't do no jinky business. Like every, all the business he ever said on, he stands on his word. Everything he ever told me always came true. It's like it's like he he seen it already. I would not have a YouTube channel. I would not be on YouTube talking to y'all right now if it wasn't for Sean Carter. I'd probably still be on Instagram just doing this. Like he the one told me go to YouTube and turn up, and I learned stuff from him. So like. If you can get you, I call, I, I give him like the mentor credit. If you can get you a mentor that you know, teach you on some game, it's like the guys in the hood, they teach you how to be a dope boy, they teach you how to be a drug dealer and all that and nothing. Do y'all not know I linked up with an out of town and told him, teach me how to be a YouTuber or a blogger. He told me three things. I ain't looked back since. I ain't had a bad day. We ain't worrying about no money or nothing. We ain't stressing around here. Life is life. You gotta live it. But I seen Sean post an interview. Like he was on his interview, he was he don't Sean don't pop his shit at all. I be trying to get him to. He don't. He humble. He don't pop his shit at all. He this man got three Lamborghinis giving away a Hellcat. Wide body. He got so much going on. His farm acres of land. ATVs. It's way bigger than what you think it is. Say cheese. He got the perfect name because he be smiling all day with that life. But yeah, he don't really be popping shit. So I catch him popping shit one night. He's like, oh, he like, man, yeah, I put in the game. Ask Aunt Glizzy how many millionaires I made, how many hundreds of thousands I put in his pocket. Like, he ain't lying. I promise you he ain't lying. One thing about it, he definitely a man that's work. So I did business with a rock of people. I don't trust no people or nothing. I can put the stamp on Sean that Sean does good business and Sean is tapped in with the streets more than anybody. Out of all these bloggers and all that, they so mainstream. Only person underground that's tapped into the people you can be like. As long as you got a personality, Sean can get you to where you need to be. All you need is a personality. You don't need a rap check, a contract, a fan base, or nothing. All you need is a personality and Sean. You feel me? We about to turn up. New podcast on the way. They say FYB, J Main, and Ang Lizzy. I said something goofy like I spent 63rd. I'm going to have to take that back. I know I am. But it's like I don't really know what I be saying. I just be saying stuff, y'all. Once the camera start rolling, I just start talking. Make sure everybody like and subscribe to the channel. And sus give me to 100K subscribers. Once I get to 100K subscribers, though, I'm going to get back. Sorry, week. I'm doing get backs. I got to do a get back, y'all. I got to get back to the community. I'm becoming a car guy. I'm about to stop. I'm getting my SRT8 wrap. I just bought an SRT. I'm getting it wrap. I'm becoming a YouTuber. Anybody want to sponsor me with like some wheels? Anything y'all want to see on the truck for my subscribers? Just help me out. Just send me a stern wheel. You can send me a gear shift. You can send me anything. You can send me some stickers to put on the car. You can send me anything you want for the car. I need. I got a brand new SRT8 and I need sponsorships. I'm looking for sponsors. Any YouTube sponsors? Any anybody? Contact me. Get in contact with me. Let's turn my truck truck up and whatever y'all product is that y'all got that can motivate the street eight i can put it on the youtube channel I'm coming with content bob and son tv we back good looking sean and glizzy back on say cheese tv man how you doing what's good i'm starting off my day with a blunt <laughs> <laughs> man we in dc right now uh yeah man so look before you i want to i want to talk about before you went uh before you got arrested um you took the instagram well, on your IG live, we posted it. You flashed a hundred thousand. Yeah. And a lot of people were upset about it. A lot of people didn't understand it. Uh, but yeah, man, you 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 dropped your nuts on them. This vlogging, this YouTube creation, it's like this is a different ball game. I never drop a rap song again. I'm thinking different. I'm breathing different. I'm walking different. I left the rap game and I was like, if I go to YouTube, I wonder if my fans still gonna love me. <laughs> <laughs> and that was real money. You know, we posted it on Say Cheese. A lot of people, they 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 claimed it was fake. Anything I do gonna be fake, bro. Like, <laughs> that's the narrative they built, bro. If I post my mother, that's a fake mother. <laughs> I ain't tripping. I know the real me. I First of all, I ain't even in the competition. This is motivational purpose only. This is not stunning. They're going to have a lot of uh, 
moments like that when they're going to be questioning themselves. But it's okay. Like, I don't care. I do this for me, though. I love it here. Yeah. Well, since you share, you know, your income a lot for motivational purposes, the first month you did it, um, was it lucrative then? Did, was you was you like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, this could be crazy or you wasn't really sure yet? After the first paycheck, I knew what it was. I made more than five digits my first check. Mm. I only... <laughs> I mean, after that, it's just been different. It's a different life, though. Second interview, we, second interview we did had ten niggas in the back. Third interview we did had nobody in the back. What's that about? Is it every every time we interview, you're getting you're, you're cutting more people off, or is it a mindset thing? Nah, it's just more so at that time and in my life when you coming. That's what I might be on. I still be around the guys. I just don't put it on the camera because. I don't portray a street image. Like on this, on this, I keep the street separated from my business. I ain't really in the streets. I ain't promoting street life. So I don't want no kids to think I'm hopping out cars, killing. I'm running around shooting guns. I, I ain't doing none of that. I'm like the afterlife of that. I just talk about it. But nah, it ain't because I cut nobody off. I love all my people, all my people with me. It's just more so. I'm in a different tax bracket now, though. Like far as me around 20 guys, and it don't make sense to me. Mm. It's like you gotta move different if you wanna last long. It's about lasting the longest. It ain't about what you got. But now, nah, far as like the people I was around, them some young guys from my neighborhood when we was in the studio at the time, I was just showing them rap, like letting them letting them rap. Just show them something different. They don't gotta throw their life away in the ghetto. The ghetto is over. Like being a hood nigga is over. Like hood niggas down yeah. a thousand, nothing. I got new I got watched for every I'm talking about every day of the week. I swear. I just got a new plane Jane Cartier for no reason at all. I got it just cause I seen it. It's like, I had to go play in this, all right, though. But I love it, man. I can't do nothing but thank God. I'm blessed. Like, I don't want to throw away none of my blessings. I'm so blessed right now. I don't even think I want to be the villain and curse people out no more. That's easy. It's like I'm in a different bracket now. I need a substitute person, like, to just come take my attitude and take it out on people. I need to play the background now. How much money he made since I've been, this, since I've been to D.C.? Ask Aunt Glizzy how many, how many hundreds of thousands he touched since I've been to D.C. Ask him. FYBJ, man, I said, we got we to gotta bug up. Ask him how many thousands he made since I started fucking with uh, FYBJ, man. I make real millionaires, nigga. Charles the White. Four million dollars in two years. And he made the Uzi tape, and we got a bag for that. What blogger doing that? It's a lot to talk about. What blogger doing that? Come on now, bug the I need some milk and cookies. I'm telling y'all, hey, I'm just lit. I don't smoke, I don't do drugs. I'm just high off life. Go look at my Vlad interview. I've never been drunk or high in my life. I don't do drugs. I do, I do for my community. I got a whole youth basketball team back there on the trampoline being kids. I ain't been on Instagram in like five days.